Hi, my name is Georgi Radulov and I would like to demonstrate to you simulation and measurements of a Wimbridge oscillator. We will measure a 10 kHz sine wave. In my previous videos I showed to you how to make a game stage of 3 that has clipping realized with these diodes. Now, I also showed you in a, a previous video how to implement a bus, band pass filter. Now, if we connect the forward gain and the band pass filter in a loop, we can realize an oscillator. This particular type on, of an oscillator is called the Wim bridge. So, uh, let's connect the output of the filter. the output of the gain stage to the input of the filter and the output of the band pass filter to the input of the gain stage. This filter is designed in such a way that its maximum magnitude transfer is at 10 kHz and the damping at this frequency is one third. So we have frequency selectivity here for 10 kHz and the magnitude transfer from the input of the filter to the output of the filter is one third. This means that this forward gain will have to provide gain of at least three to have an oscillation. However, if we simulate, we will see that there is no oscillation because oscillations cannot start we need a gain of more than 3. So how to realize this gain of more than 3 in the easiest way? I use the following method. I'll connect a very large resistor in parallel with R1. The mutual resistance in the, of these two uh, resistors in parallel will be a little bit less than 10, which will increase the gain of the stage. So if I connect this uh, resistor, like this, now the forward gain is more than 3 and oscillations will start. As the amplitude of the oscillation grows, it will be limited by the clipping of the gain. So let's start, see? And here are the oscillations. So you can see here how they initiate, how they start from zero. Let's run it again. And they stabilize. So the oscillations, the amplitude of oscillation stabilizes around the points at which these diodes activate. So if you now zoom in and see the uh, oscillation, Let's zoom in here. You can see how the oscillation is stabilized. This is 10 kilohertz oscillation. Here it is. We'll implement this on the breadboard here. To measure the performance, we'll use MyDAC. Now, the MyDAC is connected already to the computer. And first, we'll use the oscilloscope function. This is it. Here is the oscilloscope. This connection is the input of the MyDAC. This will be channel 1. I power the circuit with plus minus 15 volts coming from the MyDAC. Here at the moment I have the forward gain and the phase rotation network. They are not connected yet. So you see that there is in no connections from the feedback phase rotation network, the frequency selector, to the nonlinear gain. So now I will activate the oscilloscope channel 1. 
so you see that now the wire is floating and you see that there is a signal here it is if you zoom in the signal you realize that this is the 50 Hertz frequency of the power supply and this comes from my computer with which I'm recording it propagates through the USB cable you see that the output is floating if I touch the floating cable I will have even more disturbance let's see yeah. this is the 50 Hertz disturbance now let's see what our DAC will do so I will uh, measure now at the output of uh, at the output of uh, the amplifier here this is the chip of the amplifier and its pins are shown here pin number six is the output looking back at what I have so I have to look at channel 1 yeah there is no no signal yeah, if it's floating I pick up the 50 Hertz here are the 50 Hertz and then if I connect it the signal stabilizes it floats no more and it is at 10 volts this is just how the amplifier is settled now I have to connect the output of the amplifier which is this node to the input output on, to the input of the filter which is this node Since the output of the amplifier comes here, I'll measure at this point. Yes. Now I'll connect the output of the filter, which is this node, to the non-inverting output of the amplifier, which is pin 3. Alright, so you still see no oscillations and this is because the gain of the amplifier now is 3 or perhaps a little bit less than 3 so it cannot compensate for the losses of the phase rotation network with this resistor this is the large 250 kilo ohm resistor I'll connect in parallel I'll connect it in parallel to resistor R1 to ground from the negative feedback so that I can increase the I can increase the gain, the forward gain. And you can see now that oscillation started. Now let's look closer to these oscillations.
here are the oscillation this is the signal that I'm measuring and if I look closer it is around 9.9 .9 kilohertz 9.8 has to do a lot with the parasitic capacitances that exist here in the circuit. You see that if I touch the phase rotation filter, frequencies changes. So the connection should be very, very stable. And the uh, oscillation frequency is around 9.7. I want to estimate what are, so we can um, zoom in. You can stop and analyze. We are looking at oscillation of 9.85. This can be further stabilized through adjusting the bump pass filter. Yeah. I want to estimate what are the harmonic distortion, how pure this signal is. For this, I will use a uh, dynamic signal analyzer. I'll start it and I want to get information from unlock input 1 I want the maximum bandwidth This is the spectrum, so here is this, the spectrum of this signal. I can measure now what is the SFDR. This cursor I'll position to measure the signal and this the highest present harmonic distortion. The linearity of my system is approximately 50 dB now, which is shown here. Can take more averaging, this is the FFT window. So the linearity is about 43 at the moment. So what you see here are artifacts. These are the harmonic distortion. And the sampling rate of the MyDAC is 200 kilo samples per second. Now all these here harmonics, they are folded back into the signal range. Here this disturbance comes from the MyDAC. To increase further the linearity of uh, the signal, filtering can be used or um, softer clipping. This is room for improvement. So without this at the moment we are at 46 dB approximately, which can be seen here. Thank you very much for your attention.